Something crazy is happening in Beijing right now that nobody is talking about. Hundreds of super smart robots are meeting in one place for the first time ever. These robots can think for themselves, walk around and even play sports without any human control. In just days, 10 robots will face off in football using only their own robot brains. But that's not even the wildest part. China just opened a massive shopping center where you can buy your own personal robot. Some cost less than your rent, others more than a house. Scientists just proved robots can now create other robots in weeks instead of years. China just revealed a new robot that's making everyone in the tech world stop and stare. Its name is Limex Oi, and it stands as tall as a normal person at 5 feet 5 inches. But size isn't what makes this robot special. This robot has 31 different joints that let it move just like a human body. It can walk, bend over, grab things with its hands, and even dance if you program it to. The company that built it made something really smart. They designed it so you can easily change its parts. Need simple grabbing hands for basic work? Snap them on. Want advanced five-finger hands that can handle delicate objects? Switch them out in minutes. You can even add extra cameras, microphones or sensors, depending on what job you want the robot to do. But here's the coolest feature. This robot connects to the internet and can download new skills instantly. Just like how you update apps on your phone, this robot can get new abilities sent directly to its brain. One day it might learn how to fold laundry. The next day it could learn how to paint walls or serve food. The robot understands normal human speech and talks back in a way that makes sense. It uses multiple cameras to see everything around it, then makes its own decisions about what to do next. No human remote control needed. The company is selling different versions for different people. Students can buy a basic model to learn how robots work. Businesses can get advanced versions for factories and offices. Researchers can modify everything to test their own ideas. Right now, in Beijing, something is happening that has never been tried before in human history. From August 14th to 17th, over 280 teams from 16 countries are bringing 500 robots to compete in the world's first robot sports competition. This isn't a small local event. We're talking about 538 different contests happening over three days in an actual Olympic stadium. The robots will compete in 26 different types of challenges, from running races to complex team sports. The main event that everyone is watching is robot football. But forget everything you know about remote control toys. These 10 robots, five per team, will play a complete game using only their own artificial brains. They have to pass the ball to teammates, block opponents and score goals all by themselves. Each robot on the field has to make split-second decisions while working with its teammates. Should it pass or shoot? Where should it move to help defend? How can it outsmart the other team? All of these choices happen automatically with no human input at all. But there's even more we need to know about. China recently launched military jet suits that could change everything. I'll show you all the details about these incredible flying machines at the end of this video, so make sure you watch until the very end. Coming back, Chinese universities already tested this earlier in the year with smaller teams. One robot squad beat another 5-3 to three in a fully automatic match. Now they're expanding it to full teams in front of thousands of spectators. The sports don't stop at football. 90 robot teams will race each other in a 100 meter sprint to find the fastest robot on earth. Some robots that finished a half marathon will do special demonstration runs. There's even robot combat sports where Olympic champions from human competitions will work alongside robot partners. Six real Olympic medal winners are participating in these events. These include champions in judo, swimming and synchronized swimming. They're creating brand new types of competitions that combine human athletic skill with robot abilities. While the robot sports are grabbing headlines, something equally amazing is happening nearby. China opened the world's first shopping mall dedicated entirely to selling robots, and it's completely changing how we think about buying artificial helpers. This place has over 100 different types of robots ready to purchase and take home today. You can buy a mechanical butler that will clean your entire house and serve meals to guests. There are robot companions that will chat with you and keep you company. You can even purchase robots that look exactly like famous people from history, complete with realistic faces and voices. The price range is incredible. The cheapest robots start around $278. These might be simple pets that follow you around or basic helpers for small tasks. The most expensive robots cost millions and can run entire factories or perform complex medical procedures. But buying the robot is just the start. The mall offers spare parts, repair services and lets you test drive different robots before making a decision. You can play with robot dogs that respond to voice commands. You can challenge chess playing robots that think many moves ahead. You can watch cooking demonstrations by robots that prepare and serve complete meals. While China shows off its finished robots, American scientists just achieved something that might be even more important. 
A professor in California created a system where robots build the brains of other robots with almost no human help required. Here's how this incredible process works. An AI system gets instructions to create a robot brain. The AI writes thousands of lines of computer code that will control how the robot thinks and moves. Then it sends that code to a real robot, which installs the programming in its own brain and immediately starts working. The research team tested this with different AI tools and encountered various problems. Some AI systems ran out of memory. Others made coding mistakes that broke the robot. But when they found the right combination of tools, something amazing happened. The AI created 6,000 lines of perfect computer code in just 100 hours spread across two and a half weeks. For comparison, the same research team had built a similar project by hand that took them four complete years of human work. The robot-assisted method was 20 times faster. This means robots are now getting better at creating other robots much faster than humans can keep up. Tech industry leaders are calling this a major breakthrough, but they're also warning that we need safety rules when robots start building other robots without human supervision. All of these developments raise a big question. How did China get so far ahead in robotics while other countries are still struggling with basic AI tools? The answer comes down to massive government investment and smart planning. In just the last 12 months, China spent over $20 billion supporting robotics companies and research projects. But that's just the beginning. China is planning a 1 trillion yuan fund worth about $140 billion, dedicated specifically to AI and robotics startups. Compare this to other countries where robot companies struggle to get funding and government support. While American and European politicians debate whether robots are safe, Chinese companies are building thousands of robots and selling them to everyday people. China also created an environment where over 200 robot companies work in the same area, creating intense competition that drives rapid innovation. Each company tries to build better robots than their neighbours, leading to constant improvements and breakthrough discoveries. The timing of all these announcements isn't random either. The Robot Olympics, Shopping Mall opening and major robotics conference are all happening simultaneously. This creates massive media attention and sends a clear message that China plans to lead the global robot revolution. So what does China's robot invasion mean for the rest of us? Should we worry about robots taking our jobs? Should we get excited about robot helpers? Or should we be concerned that one country is getting so far ahead in crucial technology? The honest answer is all three reactions make sense. Robots will definitely change how we work and live. Some jobs that humans do today will probably be handled by robots in the future. But robots will also create completely new types of jobs that don't exist yet. What if wars are no longer fought on the ground? What if the next battle happens in the air with soldiers flying over walls, borders and defences like they never existed? China has just shown the world their first military flying jet suit and experts are worried that America is years behind in this race. This is not just about cool gadgets, this is about the future of military power. And right now, China is winning. China's G1 company has unveiled the world's first triducted wearable electric vertical takeoff and landing jetpack with hands-free control. But this is just the beginning of what China has been working on behind closed doors. The Chinese military has been testing these flying suits in secret for months. Videos leaked online show Chinese soldiers jumping out of helicopters with special jetpacks. They land softly on the ground like they are floating on air. They can fly over mountains, rivers and enemy lines without any trouble. These are not the clunky jetpacks from old movies. These are sleek, powerful flying machines that can carry a fully armed soldier. They run on special engines that are quiet and fast. A Chinese soldier wearing one of these suits can fly at speeds over 60 miles per hour. They can stay in the air for up to 10 minutes at a time. But here is what makes them really dangerous. These jetpacks are small and hard to see on radar. A group of flying soldiers could sneak up on any base or city without being detected. They could fly over walls, fences and security systems that took years to build. The Chinese flying suits use something called ducted fan technology. Think of it like having three powerful airplane engines built into a backpack. These engines push air down so hard that they lift the person wearing the suit straight up into the sky. The really smart part is how they control it. The pilot does not need to use their hands to steer. The suit reads their body movements. Lean forward to go forward, lean left to go left. It is like riding a bike in the air. The suits are also electric, which means they are much quieter than gas-powered jetpacks. A soldier could fly right over your head and you might not even hear them coming. The batteries can be swapped out quickly, so one person could keep flying mission after mission. China has also built special protective gear for these flying soldiers. They wear helmets that give them night vision and GPS maps. Their suits are bulletproof and fireproof. They can carry weapons, medical supplies or spy equipment while they fly. 
but if you are interested in watching AI fails and funny compilations, then make sure to watch the video shown on your screen. Coming back, the Pentagon has been very quiet about China's flying suits, but behind closed doors, military leaders are panicking. Sources say that America has no defence against flying soldiers. All of our security systems are built to stop threats coming from the ground or from big aircraft in the sky. Nobody planned for individual soldiers who could fly. The Pentagon has remained tight-lipped, though it's hard to imagine this hasn't sparked internal discussions. Military experts are calling this China's most dangerous new weapon since they built nuclear bombs. The problem is that America stopped investing in jetpack technology years ago. While China was perfecting their flying suits, the US military was focused on drones and robots. Now we are playing catch-up in a race we did not even know we were losing. American defence companies like Boeing and Lockheed Martin are scrambling to build their own flying suits, but they are at least three years behind China. In the world of military technology, three years might as well be a lifetime. China is not building these flying suits just for show. They have specific military plans for how to use them. Intelligence reports suggest they want to use flying soldiers to take over Taiwan. The flying suits would also be perfect for special missions. Need to rescue hostages from a building? Fly in through the roof. Want to spy on enemy bases? Fly over their walls and security cameras. Need to deliver weapons to soldiers trapped behind enemy lines? A flying soldier could get there in minutes. China has already tested using these suits for search and rescue missions. When there was an earthquake in a mountain region, Chinese military pilots flew in with medical supplies faster than any helicopter could have reached the area. If they can save lives, they can definitely be used to take lives too. The suits would also change how armies fight battles. Right now, soldiers have to worry about roads, bridges and obstacles on the ground. Flying soldiers could attack from any direction. They could fly over minefields, jump over rivers and attack from above where enemies are not expecting them. Other countries are starting to panic about China's flying technology. Japan has announced they are building their own jetpack program. South Korea is investing millions of dollars in personal flight systems. Even smaller countries like Israel and Singapore are rushing to develop their own versions. But China has a huge head start. They have been secretly working on this technology for over five years. They have already trained hundreds of pilots and built thousands of these flying suits. Other countries are just starting their research. The scary part is that this technology could spread to terrorist groups or criminal organisations. If these flying suits ever get sold on the black market, criminals could fly over any security system. Bank robbers could escape by flying away. Terrorists could attack buildings from the air. The United States used to be the leader in military technology. We built the first jets, the first satellites and the first stealth bombers. But somewhere along the way, we got comfortable and stopped innovating. Now China is beating us at our own game. Part of the problem is that American military leaders did not take jetpack technology seriously. They thought it was science fiction. They believed that flying soldiers would never be practical in real combat. China proved them wrong. Another problem is that America's military budget goes mostly to big expensive projects like aircraft carriers and fighter jets. We spend billions on weapons that take decades to build. China focused on smaller, cheaper, faster projects that could be finished quickly. The US military is now trying to fast track their own flying suit program. They are offering huge contracts to any company that can build working jetpacks within two years. But even if American companies succeed, China will still have a five-year advantage. China's flying military suits are just the beginning. Military experts predict that within 10 years, every major army will have flying soldiers. Battles will be fought in three dimensions instead of just on the ground. Traditional military bases with walls and fences will become useless. The country that masters flying soldier technology first will have a huge advantage in any future conflict. They could strike anywhere without warning. They could rescue their own soldiers from impossible situations. They could gather intelligence that was previously impossible to obtain. China is already working on the next generation of flying suits. Reports suggest they are building suits that can fly faster, higher and for longer periods. Some intelligence sources claim China is developing flying suits that could be controlled remotely like drones. This would mean they could send flying robots that look like soldiers into battle without risking human lives. You might think that military flying suits do not affect regular people, but you would be wrong. This technology will change the world in ways we are just starting to understand. First, it changes how we think about security. If flying soldiers become common, every important building will need protection from attacks coming from above. Airports, government buildings and even private homes of important people will need new types of security systems. Second, this technology will eventually become available to civilians. Just like how military GPS technology became Google Maps and military internet became the web we use today, flying suits will probably become available for regular people to buy. But that could be dangerous if the wrong people get their hands on them. 
China's flying military suits represent the biggest change in warfare since the invention of the airplane. While America was sleeping, China built the future of military technology. They have flying soldiers that can attack from any direction, overcome any obstacle and disappear before anyone can stop them. The United States is not ready for this new reality. Our military bases, our security systems and our entire way of thinking about defence are built for an old type of warfare. But it is not too late. America has the technology, the money and the talent to build flying soldier programmes that could match or even beat China's capabilities. The question is whether we have the will to do it and whether we can move fast enough to make a difference. Right now, American companies like SpaceX, Boeing and Lockheed Martin have some of the smartest engineers in the world. These are the same people who put astronauts on the moon and built rockets that can land themselves. If anyone can build better flying suits than China, it is American engineers.